I'm aiming for a holler in the hills of Appalachia. No, sir, you wouldn't know the name. <sighs> I can officially see my breath. It has snapped. Uh, fall is here. It's definitely chilly. It's definitely cooler. Today is episode 15 of Building My Guitar with Showalter Guitars. Now, if you don't know, I'm building an Osage Orange and Sycamore OM with my friend Steve. It's been a really great process, and we're still kind of recovering. We only lost one day from my huge mistake. Now, if you didn't see my huge mistake, go back a couple episodes and see where I sanded through the side of the guitar. It was the worst. It was super embarrassing, and a uh, good thing I've got thousands of people watching these videos. So, anyway, today's episode 15. I'm not totally sure what we're gonna do, and uh, but last thing, as we do this, I know that you're gonna have questions. You're gonna have questions about the thickness of things, the kind of glues we're using, how we attach things, or how we set the tools. There are gonna be lots of questions, and when you have those, please put them in the comments down below, and then later, in a few episodes, Steve and I are going to react, and we're going to respond to a lot of those questions. So. Let's go see what Steve and Joyce are up to. Hey, Steve. Boy, Jeremy. Hi. How fine. How are you? I'm good. Man, this thing, it really looks like a guitar these days. <laughs> good reason. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I could see my breath outside. Uh, yeah. It's going to get colder. I saw it. I'm supposed to go to the lake with a bunch of friends, so. <laughs> I hope you don't jump in. No, yeah. just gonna be lots of hanging out. Uh, oh. So the headstock got some got some work. I guess last time I saw we just glued it up. Oh yeah, yeah. But man, this looks excellent. Hey, that looks cool. Hey friends, in today's video, there's a piece that's missing. Literally, there's a piece that's missing because I sanded through the side of the guitar in the episode before this. And our solution was we decided to come up with a outline of Virginia made out of sycamore so that when it sits against the Osage Orange, it would then sit and have some contrast. Now, I originally envisioned this to be cut out of the side like a jigsaw, and then we would inset it and we would have it roughly flush with the side of the guitar. That would have added lots and lots of work. And so the solution that we came up with, we decided to leave it as an external patch. So it would sit on the outside of the guitar. So the things that you will not see are the bending of the piece. That happened after hours because Steve used, he said it's an old uh, grandfather clock trick, one of his cowboy ways. So he said that he bent the side, uh, he bent the Virginia Sycamore cutout. The second thing is that he then, we ended up getting it glued up before we had the cameras rolling. And so it just, doesn't get shown between the last episode and this episode. So I'm very sorry for that. The ambition of this series is to show you the good, the bad, the ugly, the unfortunate things that happen when you're building your first guitar. Um, I am i don't have the right personality for open critique, uh, but I'm working on it. And uh, you guys have been amazing and great and very gracious. You've been far more gracious with me than my inner monologue has been with me, particularly around the mistakes that I've made. So with all of that said, um, here's the video, and uh, so we're going to jump in right at the beginning. So basically what you missed was um, the sycamore being bent, the sycamore being glued on, and so we're jumping in when it has cured, and so in this video we're going to do a lot of the getting all of the extra glue and the squeeze out off of it, and then sanding everything and getting it ready uh, for the neck and the body and the finish and all that stuff. We're coming to the end. Thanks for watching. So here's the rest of the episode. Okay, so... I'm doing some final fitting on this. So we cut this uh, joint and it's we have a little bit of a, a gap where we need to get that closed. And this needs to also be slightly uh, brought over to this direction Got to it. get, so to get this in the center. Yeah. Uh, and we can do that by uh, ch changing uh, the thickness of these uh, okay. uh, shims. And in the meantime, uh, I want you to sand the back and then you'll do some hand sanding on the sides and the back. Uh, but I'll check in on you. That's a, it's really hard to tell, but it's just, the back is just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'll, I'll leave it up, or i put the binding down on purpose just a little bit so that we have to thin this uh, corner down, get get some material off of there so it has uh, more 
uh, the vibrations goes around uh, around from the side into the back. Okay, so all around the rim will be maybe a uh, how wide of a about gap? About two to three inches, uh, where it's even. It, and what it does, it even amplifies the arch even a little bit more. Okay. Although not noticeable. Yeah, yeah, you'd never, I mean, that's what I've realized is there's so many curves and contours that I've never noticed with guitars. Um, you know, it started out just as the joke of like, flat tops aren't flat. You're like, they're not, guitars aren't square. <laughs> like, there's nothing about them that's, you know, uh, it's all yeah. thought through. So, okay, so bring down the edges around the side, a little bit of sanding. All right. And uh, just really don't go through the sides or the back. <laughs> so, okay, all right, let's get to sanding. You see this uh, right here, mm -hmm. Feel it's uh, a little rough, mm -hmm. so you still aren't quite okay. low enough there. But look look here, here's what it should all look like. Okay. That's what I was getting, like... Yeah, here it's good. And, yep, down here I have a little more. Yeah. And over here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then I got the middle at the very end. Yeah. There's a couple yeah, little, little scratches. Yeah. Is that, uh, that's uh, from the drum sander. Okay. And you need to sand that a little bit more, get rid of that. So just sand over the kind of the whole okay. thing. Don't concentrate too hard on that, just because okay, you don't want to get yeah. a dip in it. And then, I think you could do hand sanding on the, on this. Pretty sharp, feel it. Oh, yeah. And if you just, uh, this will keep it straight. Okay. And if, if you sand by hand, you can use this as straight edge too to see that you're not yeah. dipping somewhere. But you see, I'm taking mostly wood and yeah. I'm just starting to scrape just a little of that binding. Look how I got half of the binding with just that little bit of scraping. Hmm. And that gets rid of the sander marks actually too. So if you finish up. Cause I guess that celluloid plastic is pretty soft compared to the wood or just you're concentrating so much force with the card. I am putting a good bit of pressure on it. So is the point to get the sides all the way clean? Like I'm undoing the sand marks that I 
did like what I was gauging for fecal sanding was at this point I wouldn't really worry about getting the sand marks out instead of think about getting uh, your 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 you should be con uh, concentrating on uh, on the flatness here and and then this going into that to a place where you won't even feel it you wouldn't okay. know it was a so joint there. So it wouldn't there. a binding? You wouldn't know it would be okay. a joint there. Yeah. Okay. So, see, so yeah, and, and I was saying a while ago, it came up about halfway, which means, yes, it'll need a little more later. But okay. I'm going to, but I would just round it a little bit. I don't like it so sharp, it feels yeah. like a razor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So, yeah. Can I run an orbital sander? What? It's just this little bit of... The reason why I wanted you to angle it a little bit is so it doesn't catch in the grain. Okay. It, this grain's going the opposite direction. That's what I was, yeah. And, but orbital would, would uh, eliminate some, some of that problem. Okay. <laughs> Did I tell you, you gotta hold your mouth right. You gotta hold your mouth right? You gotta hold your mouth right. What do you mean? Uh, I don't know if I can do it thinking about it, but my wife laughs at me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> now sanded filled what comes next uh, after that dries uh, some detail sanding uh, along there okay, and then we'll do the neck now I'm working on it while I wait for it to dry a little bit figure that one out what I'm gonna get in later so look at that this fits pretty Whoa, good. pretty good that looks yeah. excellent yeah that, was pretty much first try. That was great. <laughs> Listen to that tone. <laughs> oh, it looks great. like a guitar. Finish on, at least by the end. Um, but I'll be here tomorrow and Thursday. You're going to be here tomorrow and Thursday.
So all you need to do is just sand, uh, sand a little bit. Of the you got to make it match? Off of this side, so it'll make it the same. in the way. I know what I'll do. Put it on the other side. <laughs> Guitar <laughs> hunter shirt anyway. <laughs> Probably could finish the sanding. Just don't sand my lines away. Okay. Okay, so here uh, I fold these like this and then uh you can uh when you when you wear out the two mm -hmm. surfaces you flip this oh, yeah. and you have another new one and do you use your okay stuff, yeah. and stay with the grain okay What do you think? Did uh, that look better when I yeah. filled it? Yeah. Yeah. It kind of gives it that same because I yeah. I also like sanded off the some of the bevel or the rounded over. Oh, yeah. I want it to be kind of smooth to the hand, which I think it is. So we could probably take this off now. Well, be careful now because it's not glued on. Okay. And I'll so be gentle. Handling it, it might fall apart. But yeah, so. Uh, we'll we'll make those uh, uh, bridges next. All right, so that's a wrap on episode 15. Um, you can't take any of your work time away to do this. Thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Steve's giving Joyce grief. But that's the end of episode 15. Uh, by the end of this, we have a shaped neck. We still have a little bit of tweaking to the neck, but. Sanded the whole thing all over. My hands are still just covered. And um, no major mistakes were made. A mistake was made. I cut too close on the bottom of Virginia. And so we ended up having to patch it. And Steve did say, what am I going to do with you? Which is what I thought as well. Um, I have a heavy hand, as, as it turns out, around tools. So anyway, um, the neck joint is, we're about ready to glue it. We're coming up. I mean, we're coming to the home stretch. So if you have questions, comments, or slanderous remarks, let's just stick to the questions. Let us know in the comments down below, because I'm sure there are things that we didn't cover in the detail that you uh, would like to know them. So anyway, uh, this thing is really looking sharp. I especially love the Virginia on the side. And um, man, the Osage Orange, the neck. Yeah, the only tweak I would have done. So this is an ebony strip, uh, which you know, we're building this plane as we're flying it. And so we have uh, ebony here and then walnut. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, woulda done walnut. But this guitar is really gonna be great. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be very neck heavy. That was a concern early on, but 
Anyway, I'm Jeremy. That's Steve. This is Joyce. Thanks for watching. Make sure you uh, check out Showalter Guitars. There's a room full of amazing guitars over there. The Shenandoah Valley is beautiful this time of year. So come hang out. Come see them. Come see some leaves change. Come eat some apples down the road here. And uh, come get Broad Porch Coffee with me. So anyway, I'm Jeremy. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Holler in the hills of Appalachia No sir, you wouldn't know the name But it's prettier than heaven And where I'm at the world And where I'm going